Welcome back to my homemaking story. It's interesting those things that we allow ourselves to focus on. This could be positive, it could be negative. It all depends on the situation, doesn't it? I know that when I'm in a situation where I know I need to focus on something positive to get myself through it, I try my best to hone in on the positive aspects. Today, I'm willing myself to focus on those things that are beautiful, those things that are lovely, so as to keep pushing myself through a time when we are renovating our bathroom and much of my space is consumed with the chaos of the project. So much of my time is spent within my home, and especially my bedroom. It's a place that I want to bring me comfort and peace, but at times like this, it could be full of so much that angers me. When I allow myself to focus on the chaos that surrounds me and everything I can't do about it, I feel my mood change and become increasingly more negative. In these moments, I choose to look at what I love. I welcome the beauty that I can choose to look at instead, knowing this is only for a short time. What do you spend your time on? What has your attention? Where is your focus? Remember that everything will be made beautiful in its time. Are you currently in the midst of chaos? Let's choose to focus on those things that are lovely and lift our spirits. I want to welcome you if you are new and hope you will consider subscribing to be inspired weekly to make the everyday beautiful. Come take a walk with me. Where we walk by faith, and not by sight. Where the darkness has never overcome the light. His word be a lamp unto thy feet and a light unto thy path. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, The world would love his own, but because ye are not of the world. But I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Thank you.
For many of us, our days are requiring a new routine, especially if your children are part of distance learning. This will take some getting used to. Something I found I needed to do was change what I focus on in the early hours of my day. Making sure whatever I'm focused on, I can also be available for my children if they have any questions or need help navigating this new world of learning. If I don't focus on something that takes too much of my attention, I am more welcome to interruptions and have a much more helpful attitude. When we are speaking of focus, I can't help but also consider distractions. Let's talk about the distractions so many of us fall victim to. I know for myself, Facebook and Instagram were huge distractions for me at one point. When I consider God's words and anything that causes me to stumble, the word says to cut it off. You mean completely? It can sound like such a harsh solution, but it's really such a simple one. Social media can take up a huge chunk of our day if we allow it to. I had to consider what was most important to me after realizing I too fell into this trap early on in my adult life. When I started my YouTube channel, I eventually started an Instagram account as well. I finally decided what was truly important to me, and none of that was living a life for others to see. You see, even though I do share parts of my life, if you all didn't express how inspiring what I posted was for you, I would happily not be posting at all. Living a quiet life. This is why I no longer have a Facebook or Instagram account. This isn't to say there isn't inspiration to be had in such outlets, but that outlet wasn't for me. It was more of a distraction from those things I needed to be doing and taking care of daily. Did you know the average person spends two hours and 24 minutes on social media a day? When someone visits YouTube, they spend an average of 40 minutes here in one setting. I even had to cut back on YouTube, allowing myself certain times to answer comments and all that goes on behind the scenes. These are things we each have to consider and then weigh the consequences. There is a price to pay for such distractions. My question to you is, is it worth it? What are you taking in when you do visit these platforms? I don't want to misplace my focus. 
I may not grow as quickly or reach the top of what the world considers success to be, but my goal and treasures are above, and those are just distractions that I know will keep me from reaching that. I recently shared my thoughts on our evening routine and how I assign one night to each family member throughout the week to make dinner. Allowing one person to be the chef for a night helps me to focus on that one child each night. Fine-tuning their skills and helping them with any questions that they may have in the process. I've tried many ways throughout the years. Sometimes everybody doing a job because many hands make for light work, But many questions at once can also lead to chaos and a mother that just wants to run and hide. We all have to find what works best for us and our family. At this time, Aria is still learning how to navigate the kitchen and follow recipes. She will need much more attention than my other kids who have had more time and practice learning such things. This definitely takes patience, especially because it's so much easier and less time consuming to do it ourselves. They will get there. Just take a deep breath and enjoy the ride. You don't have to be in control of everything. A little spilled sauce never hurt anyone. Plus, the more spills, the more opportunity there will be to learn how to clean. I love allowing them to set the table and then they can step back and see all they accomplished by the time they sit down. It also allows the opportunity of focus to be on them for the delicious dinner made. In today's portion of my leading lady wardrobe, I'm excited to be going through my off season clothing box to start transitioning into items I have set aside for the upcoming season. As the year has progressed, I've added dresses in different textures and colors, which would be perfect for fall. Where I live in the desert, I have the freedom to wear much of the same things I would in the summer, maybe with a light trench coat or sweater on those chilly mornings and evenings or breezy days. Since much doesn't change, I use this time to switch out some of the lighter fabrics such as linen and cotton dresses or patterns and colors that seem much more appropriate for spring and summer. Fall is right around the corner and what better way to welcome it than with small changes to our wardrobes. I have acquired 90% of my wardrobe and beautiful vintage slips through Poshmark. I love that it doesn't matter what season it is. I can prepare for any of them during any time of the year. Some of my favorite fabrics for fall include satins, tweed, and velvet. At this time, I will also make sure each item is in tip-top shape, trimming any loose threads and cutting off those tags that if left on, seem to keep us from feeling as if the item belongs to us. While most of the items have been purchased secondhand, Most of my dresses were brand new with the tags still attached.
If you are looking for more inspiration, head over to Patreon. In my latest video, I'm giving a look behind the curtain and how things aren't always as they seem. We discussed forced filming and how this contributes to my art form, as I also share my thoughts on focus over obsession. I'd like to thank Oh Wonders Grace magazine for commissioning artwork within some of my videos and on my stationery. A huge thank you to my brother Brian for his beautiful videography throughout this video. It truly adds a special element. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed and added to the conversation. Your words are such an encouragement and inspiration to me. This video was brought to you by our patrons and everyone who has purchased from the Inspired by Nikki store. We thank each of you for making these videos possible. If you have yet to purchase your own set of stationery, the link is in the description box below. For more ways to make the everyday beautiful, be sure to subscribe and click on this video.